Well, he is really reaching, and this is an absolutely beautiful walk. And what's really, really nice is the stretching. Okay, and what's really nice about the stretching is you have his nose tucked in, and he's on contact. Now this is what we want at the trot. So as Conrad Schumacher says, you have to learn how to control the length of the horse's neck, whether he's all the way down and out, or three quarters of the way down, right? Which would be about there, or up and working in a frame. So we control the length of the horse's neck and, and we have to move our elbows forward and back because their neck adjusts. And our little squeezing and moving our fingers is not enough to follow the motion of the horse's neck, right? But everybody's told, squeeze your fingers. Oh, yeah. Right? Good. Good. So try, so, so, so you're allowing him to have a long neck, but you still have him on contact. It's a little inconsistent at time. All right, there you go, that's good. And you can see, let's see, we'll zoom in to that muscle in his neck, okay? And you can see it stops about three quarters of the way to, yep, yep. Yeah, the rack starts. Right, well we want it to go all the way into the shoulder. Yeah, like that. Okay. Right. But I mean, his neck is, and then the horse's neck should be proportionate to his shoulder barrel and haunches, and it is, his neck is. My horse, Angel, her neck isn't. She had this little scrawny neck because, you know, we're not really doing anything except getting her used to stuff. But, so this is good.